Is the camera gonna fall? No. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Anna Mae if you're new and today I'm gonna be doing a little spring makeup look, like an easy simple spring, my hair is very frizzy, makeup look um, and a little kind of chatty get ready with me but I also don't want to make it that long so we'll try and make it last um, but that never happens with me. Sorry the lighting's not great, I'm gonna try and fix it in editing but we're just working with what we've got right now so I've already like moisturize my face, like wash my face, moisturize my face. I don't know if you can tell because the lighting's so bad anyways, but I have a red mark here and a patch here. D uh, don't ask me, well, I think I know what it is. Um, it is sunburn. Um, I ran outside yesterday and my face was way more red than it usually is. And these are patches I think that the self tanner didn't really stick to. So in person, I'm all blotchy here my nose in here and just above this eyebrow on the side of my face so maybe I should wear sunscreen I usually do like don't hate on me um I'm using the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation I love this foundation and I'm really running out I need to take the little kind of stopper out of the top because key take that out uh, not only for recycling purposes but because you can get so much more product afterwards so I will do that after I'm done filming this video before I head out. So, let's get caught up. But first, let me try and get the foundation out of this bottle because I need to get a new one. Okay, so I can officially report, yes, my face is burned under the self tan. My theory of just places that it got wiped off, you can see the red, is correct because, holy Moses, that really hurt when I put on the little, um, swab on the bottom. So what is new? Um, this is mostly, well not mostly, but um, I'm much more active on Instagram so definitely follow me there. It's just at animated.yt. I have it linked down below. But yeah, so I have been not inactive on Instagram at all. You know, I have been active on Instagram, but it's just not been going my way i'll say that um basically i am struggling to put out the content that i want um i think people's con people have a misconception of what it would be like to be in my position right now if i should really explain this hi i'm anna may i live in new york city right now i'm from ireland i was originally going to be in the US for a year. I was also originally going to be in Washington DC, but that's a whole other story. It's coming in another video soon, which maybe I'll film today, I don't know. It's just, I haven't officially made things official. <laughs> I haven't officially withdrawn from the program. So originally I was supposed to be here for a year, but now I'm only going to be here for six months. Um, and there's a couple reasons for that. But like one big reason, which is my visa provider is an absolute asshole. So um, that is not the UN. I intern at the United Nations, but they are not the problem. Let me make that very clear. Um, also, if you have any questions about interning at the UN, let me know because I'm going to do a Q&A pretty soon because I asked on Instagram and people said that they were interested in that. So I'm going to get on that soon. Foundation's blended. I would like a 10 out of 10 recommend this foundation. I'm obsessed with it. I've used it for years. I've had, um, I used it when my acne was really bad and it was one of the few foundations that was still like good. Uh, it also helps that I have fake tan underneath. So, um, we're gonna do like a really light eye look today. Um, and I'm, I'm moving more into the shimmers. I really wanna make a big ol' order on ColourPop because Oh girl, I love that. I got the Super Shock Highlighter in Flexitarian recently, and it's I think it's a little bit faulty, like it's a little bit dried out. Maybe that's just a ColourPop thing, because um, it's like shrunk in the pan, but I love it. And I also have a lip gloss that I'm obsessed with. So I really want to try like all of their products now. Um, but today, I think I'm gonna use my Gingerbread Spice palette because my only other eyeshadow palette is the Stila and this is all mattes and I use, oh it looks so nasty because I use that every day, it's like my work eyeshadow. So 
I got I should have all over myself. We're off to a great start. Okay, so I'm gonna try and organize my thoughts a little bit. So, first of all, we'll talk about my inactivity slash weird non-cohesive activity on Instagram. Um, this is mostly to do with the fact that I don't know anyone here. That's not true. I know people here, but I don't have any friends here. And that has made things difficult in so many ways. But we're just talking about Instagram right now. It means that I have no one to take Instagram photos for me. So some of the photos that you've probably seen on my Instagram were when my mom visited and when I went to go visit my dad when he was traveling for work and he was in Atlanta. So those have been like the two main things. Other than that, I'm clutching at straw trying to put up posts. Um, also, I intern full time um, at the UN, so it doesn't leave all that much time. I've kind of tried to organize trips and stuff like that, but it just has never worked. So, um, yeah, as well as that, there are complications if I try and leave the country without like my visa provider's approval. They have to give us a letter and it's, it's bullshit, honestly. But, um, yeah, that, that I guess. I'm just trying to figure out what eyeshadow I want to wear. So spiked, oh, I'm gonna cover this. So spiked eggnog, this one, is a definite favorite for me, but I also want to wear something pink today. So I think I'm going to try and work in some other pinks. We'll figure it out as we go. But I'm gonna go in the crease with Lucky at my cookie, um, which is kind of corally pink. So that has been a thing. It's like I can't take out the pictures. It's not that I don't have the, you know, it's not that I'm not feeling inspired or, you know, whatever like that. It's that I literally can't. I don't know how to do it. And it's not like it's at home. If I didn't have anyone to take pictures, I could kind of whip out a tripod and try and figure out something like that. But uh, I just realized like, the shadow was so bad on the side. Um, but I don't have a tripod here. You're currently sitting on a cereal box, so there's that. Um, yeah, it's just, as well as that, I don't really like being in New York City, so that's, if you want to know about that, we'll answer that at another time, but I didn't originally really intend on being here, um, so that maybe that's a factor, but yeah. Um, so that is why there is that lack of Instagram content as well as that. Um, there are certain things I'm doing right now that I, I'm not maybe willing to share. Is that, does that, that doesn't sound right. I'm not willing to share. I think it's best not to. Um, I'm applying for a important, <laughs> I don't know how else to put it, an important position. Should I say it that way? Um, in the near future, like starting even late June, I think. Um, that will be good career wise. And then, you know, um, I think I'm gonna announce it pretty soon. So I guess I'll say it here. Uh, I'm going to actually start a master's in September, which was definitely not part of the plan. Um, I was always like, no, I'm definitely going to, like, I thought I was going to probably end up in the US for like 18 months. Um, not the case, but yeah. So I decided, you know, sometimes you just need to cut your losses and just change your route. Um, I thought I was gonna be in the US for about 18 months and then do my masters, you know, with a better structure of what I, like my thoughts as to what I wanted to do, what I wanted to pursue. Um, but I think we're not exactly super, it's a lot of busy work, but um, we're also not really busy <laughs> where I'm working now. So eh, that's not true. We have a lot of stuff to do. We have a lot of responsibilities, but um, it's not a, I have the time to be thinking. Uh, I work with webcast. So I'm in the live streaming services, but um, 
yeah, I've definitely been thinking about it and like watching all the meetings because we live stream a lot of the meetings at the UN. So um, being able to watch those has really allowed me to figure out how I feel about certain things and you know what I already knew but where do my real passions lie and stuff like that so I'm gonna be making a I don't think I'm gonna make a video on it actually um I'm going to be getting my master's in peace and development studies which I know I got so much hate for doing an art de arts degree I turned out fine um I also feel like I'm going to get a lot of hate for doing an MA in Peace and Development Studies, but again, I'm quite sure I'm going to turn out just fine. So, um, yeah, I decided to do that because I'm most interested in like development and disarmament and things like demilitarization, things like that, um, but also aid. So, and. Um, I kind of touched on it in my last video, but I think I'm gonna film a couple of videos today because usually I'm so busy with like doing nothing, if that makes sense. Um, I like this eyeshadow. Yeah, I touched on it in my last video, but that is kind of the reason why I'm vegetarian and a lot of people, I forgot to do my eyebrows. Um, and a lot of people don't really get it when I say that, um, but I'm vegetarian for environmental reasons, which is goes hand in hand with uh, development so yeah when I say development a lot of people think I mean like fundraising and stuff like that I don't I mean like global development as in like improving living standards for people around the world so um, yeah that's why I'm vegetarian is because of the environmental impact and that's why I'm passionate about environmental issues as well because it has a huge effect on people in the global south so I think it's like one of the most important issues, well it is the most important issue of our time because it affects most other global justice issues which is I think what my video that I'm going to film later today is about. My dad, sometimes I FaceTime my family when I'm doing my makeup, my dad always laughs because my eyebrows look so much more severe on camera before I like um, comb them out with stuff. But yeah, so that is what I'm going to do it's what I'm gonna study um where I'll go from there I'll see you know there might be some other things happening next year what I was saying I'm applying for something um I need to work on that application today I'm also working on writing a couple like blog posts that will be going alongside some videos I'm going to be doing about being on the one year J1 graduate visa um and the unholy shit show I've had with being online so um, <laughs> just to kind of give a warning to people, I guess, um, who are considering doing this and, you know, it definitely is a good option for some people, but it is not for others. And I think it depends on what you've studied, which they don't really tell you before when you're in the application process. So there's that. Um, so yeah, so I'm just kind of generally frustrated with everything. YouTube, Instagram related, um, not because I don't want to do it or I don't like it. I guess I'm one of those people who, you know, people are always like, I need to take a break from social media. It's so, you know, people are like, it affects them negatively. I'm not that person. I think there's a lot of things that can affect you negatively, but for me, social media is not really one of them. Kind of, I don't know. It doesn't get to me, it seems, in the way that it does to other people. Um, like comparisons there but to me comparison is just as bad in person as it is online it's just the truth you know <laughs> is that harsh um but it's mostly about like i haven't been talking about the makeup that i've been using have i so i just filled in my eyebrows with eyeshadow because i'm tacky uh i use the milani prep set and go prep and set and go powder uh, which I've hit pan on already and I'm going to bronze with my Too Faced chocolate soleil bronzer um, is it milk chocolate? it is um, so yeah I guess a lot of people 
would assume that like everything's amazing because I'm interning at the UN and woohoo in New York City and you know it all does sound fantastic but you know I'm gonna get real deep here it, it does depend on what you want in life and you know is career your got bronzer in my mouth it tastes so sweet <laughs> um what you really want to like, achieve in your life like what is an ultimate goal for you and to be honest mine are career based so although I'm doing amazing you could say for in some people's eyes people are like oh my god how are you doing that blah, 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 blah. you know I just I applied like people are like how did you get that internship like thinking I'm like best thing since sliced bread when I just applied online you know I applied to over 50 internships I got offered one like one did I get interviewed for any others? No. Like, I just, no interview, I just got offered one, and it's the one I'm in, and it happens to be the United Nations, and I feel like, you know, some people would not maybe say that. I can't help but be frank. People always talk about, like, keeping it real on social media, and I just can't help but, oh, make a noise here, I can't help but keep it real I don't really I don't know and that's the same with the people like when they're saying when you're talking about wanting to grow your Instagram they're like you need to find your niche as Americans say but niche is how I would say but like I guess that's hard when you're trying to keep it real does that make sense I haven't ever talked about this with anyone else who does like Instagram and stuff but I find it hard when people are like you need to find your niche and then just just stick with that but also keep it real because I'm not a I'm not a niche I'm a person. People are multifaceted, you know? We do different things, we like different things. It makes no sense to me. I'm gonna move this over here so I stop looking behind me. Um, yeah, it really bothers me when people are like, you just, you gotta find your niche, you know what? Where are you? You know, I think it's difficult to find. I think people are all different and I think you can't always find a niche. Like, I, I don't think that they're, uh, it's gonna be enough. If that makes sense like it's not spreading yourself too thin but it's also like I'm not going to limit myself I think if I was doing that I would be pretending to be someone else but I'm not I'm anime and I'm interested in lots of different things and you know I love style like that's why I started my Instagram was fat life and style and fashion that's like what I started it for I also love makeup that's why I'm doing this I love makeup and I watch a lot of makeup videos on YouTube. But I also really care about environmental issues. And I'm also very invested in politics. It's just a lot. I like to travel. I've lived internationally a couple times in my life and I'm only 22. Like, there's a lot. So it's just not that simple. I guess that's how I'm, how I'm feeling about it. It's like, I, I don't get what people are like, you just gotta find your niche and just stick to it, but also be real. Like, that's not real. You're a person. You're not a niche. A niche. A niche. So that's my rant on that. Um, other than that, I have like 60 some, 50 some days left here and I'm gonna, I'm excited to be going home. I feel like, you know, people are like, oh, did you make your most of your time there? No, probably not. But, you know, I think that's life, my dudes. You know, you can try, but sometimes I kind of, at least I know now, I always thought New York City wasn't for me. Turns out I was right. I'd like to come here and visit, you know, doing a thing or something like that, but don't sign me up for this. I'm going in with the Essence Lash Princess Mascara because it's amazing. Um, Essence mascaras are generally really good. So that is the absolute mismatch of what is going on right now. Um, I can't take photos even though I want to take photos and really work on my Instagram and stuff like that. Um, same with YouTube, but it's hard. I also, it's not filming. I have filmed so many videos, it's editing them and then you know, by the time I'll get around to editing them, they've kind of like aged out. You know, they're they're just not as relevant anymore. That is because I'm at a computer all day and I work with video. So 
the time I get home, I usually want to passively do things with the video. Just watch YouTube instead of editing the video. That kind of summarizes it. That's why I haven't been as active. It's not that I don't want to, it's that I can. And it's just that I just sincerely don't like the content to post. Um, I'm looking forward to going home. I'm really, really done with living here. Like, if you follow me on Instagram, you'd probably know. I'm also, um, I don't do well with the pollution. It's something I've learned. I had bronchitis, uh, we think, for about two months when I first arrived, and now it's gone. But even in Atlanta, which I would assume is a little bit less polluted, I did so much better. <laughs> For like two days and then I came back here and I was like ah yes and people were like oh it's seasonal allergies and I was like so um that's the situation um yeah I just I'm a country gal I just feel like you don't have to be in a big place to do big things in life in the world so I think that's something I have a lot of feelings about people putting New York City on a pedestal. I have a very ranty post I've been working on on my phone for I don't even know how long. Um, I just write when I'm feeling it um, and that will probably happen when I'm home and no New Yorkers can come after me. But yeah, I know some people love it here, but I don't. That's because we're different people. Um, I'm going in with the highlighter now. Woohoo, look at that little girl from um, Colourpop, the blush I was using. I didn't even show up because it looks like trash. It is from CoverGirl, Cheekers blush. I don't even know the colour. It's like, it's classic pink. It looks like trash. I'm not gonna show it on the internet because I'm embarrassed that I actually own it. That is what's going on. Um, that's why I haven't been posting as much. That's why my posts have been a bit shit. My feed looks a mess um, because <laughs> because I'm posting photos from when I got to go to the GA hall because I think that's fun and it's like different and interesting. And to me, it was like I was in the presence of something holy. Honestly, it was kind of funny how I reacted when I was up there. But. Um, Damn, that GA decor is not working with my feet. The wall that you can see behind me, you're like, girl, that's straight up like gold. It's because it is gold. It's like a gold color. It's like a gold paint color. So it, that's why it looks so like tacky. So I want to share those photos, but they really don't go. But we're we're gonna we're gonna work on it. So um, it's fine. My highlight is officially popping. Lastly, I'm just gonna use this ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip that I mentioned earlier. It's in Champagne Mummy. It is so good, it's so nice, it's so comfortable. Like, this is the stuff. Yes, your hair will stick in it, especially if you have this much hair, like me. It's just gonna get stuck, but it's also fine. It looks good, so. So thank you for listening to my ramble, if you did. I'm doubting anyone actually did, to be honest. Comment below if you did. In summary, life is hard right now. And I'm ready to go home. I miss my dog. I miss my family, but you know, people are like, oh, why do you say your dog? Uh, my dog is thir almost 13, and so I've had her since I was 10. Uh, she is just the light of my life and I've, I'm gonna be away from her for six months and that's a long time. As someone who struggles with her mental health, I never talk about that with this on here, but I have a lot of mental health struggles. I really, I knew my dog was a healthy coping thing that I had, but I didn't really know until it was taken away. So uh, I'm just looking forward to being back with my doggo. Look how good this is. Oh, yes. Boom, lip gloss, I wear this. I have it in my bag, I had to go get it from my bag. I wear this a lot um, because it's so easy to just swipe on and the color is so good. It's just a perfect pinky, glossy, neutral. I need to fix my hair, it looks ugly. Thank you for watching. If you did watch, I really appreciate it. This video is probably really long. My life is a mess right now. I'm done with living in New York City. I'm done with working for free. I'm done with it being cold. 
just done. But we're gonna get through it. I've decided I'm gonna post more on YouTube given that I'm struggling with the whole Instagram side of things. So expect more content from me on here because it's something I can do by myself. And follow me on Instagram at anime.yt and I will see you in my next video. Bye.